So just to give you an idea of Ronald's year in perspective, okay? And in Ronnie struggled last night. It was 0 for 4 last night. Braves did lose um, last night uh, to the San Francisco Giants, but they did win two out of three. So all good uh, there. Um, but Ronnie certainly has been the MVP of the league thus far, right? But just to give you some idea of what his season is looking like from a historical perspective, okay? And look, Ronnie's been fabulous. 28 homers, 74 RBI, 115 runs scored already, 59 steals, 330 batting average with a 413 on base, 562 slugging, okay? Now, at the current pace, that he is on with 100 and what 29 games played thus far at the current pace that he is on right now if Ronald Cunha finished the year he would have the most runs scored in the modern era for an Atlanta Brave with 145 he's pacing at 145 Dale Murphy holds the record i believe it was in 82 or 83 so he's pacing at that kind of level where he's going to be the all-time leader He's also pacing with 74 stolen bases to be the, and again, we're, we're talking all modern day records. We're not talking Hugh Duffy in 1894, okay? These are all 20th century and beyond records. So Murphy's got the runs scored record for the Atlanta Braves with, uh, I think it was 100 and, 130 some odd runs scored in, in 83 or what have you. But Ronnie's on pace to blow that uh blow that number out of the water. But he's also on pace when you look at the idea of having 74 stolen bases, which would also put him first overall. Now, Otis Nixon has the modern day record. And by the way, um, Murphy's number in 83 was 131. So he's on pace to blow right past um, all of that. Otis Nixon has the modern day stolen base record with 72 in 1991. Ronnie's on pace to break that record as well. He's also on pace for a top 20 season as far as highest batting average in a season and highest on base percentage in a season. So both of those would be top 20 individual marks all time for the Braves franchise. Also, too, the 216 hits that he's on pace for would be the fifth highest total. Now, think about the fact that, again, we've had Eddie Matthews, Chipper Jones, Hank Aaron, Ralph Gar, you know, who was a hit machine in the early mid-70s. You know, we, we've had these individual big-time performances. You know, Davey Johnson had 40 homers at second base in 1973. But when you look... Ronnie's on pace to have the highest number of runs scored, highest number of stolen bases, top 20 batting average, top 20 on base percentage, and the fifth most hits. Those are all, I mean, when you combine all of those things together, and again, he's on pace to, you know, at least be 30 30. And if he can, you know, find a way to get to 40 40, I mean, you know, he, he would be the first brace player ever to get to 40 40. So again, this whole season for Ronald has been remarkable. Even when you look at historically the seasons that, and I've brought this up before, is that is Ronnie having the best season for an outfielder in Braves history? And again, we've seen we've seen Gary Sheffield and Chipper Jones have monster seasons in the outfield. We've seen obviously, you know, again, Hank Aaron is a guy who's the gold standard for seasons in the outfield. And you know, again, there's there's all of these numbers that you look at that Ronnie is historically speaking, you know, ab about to shatter some records and, you know, be one of the top seasons of all time. So again, I know how good Freddie Freeman has been. I know how good Mookie Betts has been, but even when you look at from a historical perspective, how good Ronald Acuna's junior season has been, and then you factor in all of the numbers that he's currently playing with, right? That I, I think he's the MVP of the league. And I will tell you, I mean, you could make a case that he's having the best season by a Braves outfielder in history, in franchise history. Now, that's a bold statement. We talk about pro football focuses, bold predictions and things like that. That's a bold statement. 
that Romney may be having the best season by a Braves outfielder in history. He's been that good. And he's been, and, and again, everything has amped itself up. And I, I think he's playing with a, I, I think the whole stolen base thing with him being able to just run wild. I think that's lifted him up overall. Like, I think that that has brought his game up that, you know, we know Ronnie wants to play with some reckless abandon. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, I just, you know, he wants to, he wants to go all out and he wants to play with some reckless abandon in there. Now this idea of, you know, the base is bigger and, you know, creating more chances and things like that for steals. Like, I think all of this stuff has just kind of raised his game up and allows him to play with a more youthful vigor in all of this. So I, besides being just the MVP of the league, I think Ronnie's having maybe the best season ever for a Braves outfielder. And when you look from a historical perspective, you know, he may set the franchise record in runs and stolen bases, top five in hits, top 20 in on base and batting average. Like those are big time numbers. And maybe if he can find a way, maybe be the first guy that ever has a 40-40 season for the Braves. So all around, everything Ronnie is doing has been a remarkable season. But with even, even within the Braves' context, it's been a remarkable year for Ronnie. All right, we thank you so much for making Hitting Hard your first listen. Be sure to go in and leave us a comment on whatever podcast platform that you listen in on that you're an everyday listener to the program. So we thank you so much for being a part of our community and being a part of the show. But let us know you're an everyday or listening in five days a week. We ask that a subscriber follow for free on YouTube or wherever you listen to your podcast. Get the latest episodes of Hitting Hard as soon as they become available. Also, check us out on the Sirius XM app and give me a follow on my personal Twitter page at JMCH316. Back with you tomorrow as it is cut day tomorrow. Uh, This has been Hitting Hard with John Chuckery, Locked on Sports Atlanta.